Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Psalms 82, verse 10, as well as Ruth chapter 4, verse 5. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you so much for this word, Lord Jesus. Thank you for reminding us that we are only here temporarily, Lord. We love you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys, Psalms 82, 10. Um, let's start there. Psalms 82, verse 10. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for you shall inherit the nation. So God is going to arise and he's going to come and judge the earth. Um, the judgment is is been given to him as his authority, as an authority under him. And it says, Arise, O God, and judge the earth. They're calling for God to to stand up and and bring judgment forth right and so this is what they're asking and it is in conflation with Ruth chapter 4 verse 5 then Boaz said on that day you buy the land from Naomi you also acquire Ruth the Moabite the dead man's widow in order to maintain the name of the dead with his property. And so this goes really nicely together because it's it's letting us know that even when we don't see it, there's so much um, underhand um, issues that people are dealing with and issues of the heart, right? Um, men who are supposed to be righteous, men who are supposed to be looking at things through the lenses of God and um, just the, not the worldview, but the view of the Lord and their conduct should be of God as well. But here um, the, he was, he was talking to, um, I didn't even look up his name, but it's, it's the other um, kinsmen and he, he had an opportunity to be the first in line to be the redeemer for this, um, for Ruth. But, um, and he originally said yes, right? But then he came back and said no, because this was what Boaz replied to his yes was, was then Boaz said, on the day you buy the land from Naomi, you also acquire Ruth the Moabite, the dead man's widow, in order to maintain the name of the dead man with his property. So he wanted, the man originally wanted to absorb his property, right? He wanted to just have the goods, the benefits that um, go along with this property. And he did not want anything else. But once he found out there was a Moabite attached to his property and that he was going to have to marry her and and that he was going to have to carry on the family name through um, her, uh, he didn't, he didn't want that. He didn't want to be involved in, in the transaction anymore. It was good as long as it benefited him. And, and so, you know, with Christ, um, he sees our hearts, right? He sees the inner man. He sees what's going on inside of us. He sees the toil and the back and forth, and he knows that it is, it, it, it's good or it's bad, right? And so it was a good thing that he turned down um, Boaz because otherwise Naomi, I mean, um, otherwise Ruth would have not had a redeemer, Ruth, or, or he would have been resentful or Ruth would not have continued on the family name because that would have most likely brought him shame if he would have had a Moabite in his family. But, you know, for Boaz, he didn't seem to mind. He, he, took it on right um especially because she was such a virtuous woman taking care of her mother-in-law but um god sees the hearts of people right not only was this man going to acquire the land but he was going to have to take care of a woman and and the dead man's widow which was the dead man's widow as well as maintain and take care of his mother 
And, you know, also in the end of the day, he would not have been able to carry on the name of the land for himself. He would have had to um, relinquish it to, to Ruth's um, um, children or, or whatever, however that would have worked because it would not have been his. Um, and that's like a, a big thing with the um, children of Israel. They are not allowed to acquire land, right? It's, it's given and dispersed based on the largeness of the family. And so he, he knew that rule. That's a hard rule. It's a hard fast rule. And yet he knew that rule and he wanted the land um, even though, you know, he, he wasn't gonna, he, he probably was gonna keep it some kind of way, but who knows? Um, so yeah, that is the completion for today is that God sees the heart of men. He knows what's going on. He knows that he wasn't going to help, um, Ruth and he wasn't gonna, he didn't want to help Naomi and he didn't want to, um, carry on and, and have to keep on his relative's name, right? And and that is completed today with God's judgment, right? Arise, oh God, judge the earth, for you shall inherit the nations. God is going to inherit the nations. God, Jesus is going to in, to judge the earth, right? Because there's a lot of iniquity. There's a lot of people who are all about getting more for themselves and not caring about the needs of the widow not caring about the needs of the orphan, not caring about the needs of the people, right? He, um, he, he, people are willing to just walk right past and not um, care at all. And so, yeah, that is what the scripture completion for today is. Um, God sees our hearts. God knows what's going on inside of us and he wants what's right and good for us but there will come a time there is coming a day where he is going to come and judge the earth amen all right you guys let's go ahead and pray thank you father god for this word thank you for your love and your strength thank you that you are our keeper and our lover of our soul lord god we know that you see our hearts, Lord. Let our hearts be purified. Let us be pure. Let us be good. Let us be right. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.